to please the enemies of Allah and the enemies of mankind. Ahmed Musa Jibreel, an American, but one of the most popular online voices among Brits who go to fight with so-called Islamic State. I'm telling you facts. He calls for jihad and preaches separation of Muslims from non-Muslims or kuffar. Hours ago, masses of the Ummah, our Ummah, were joining with the kuffar in their New Year celebration. A former friend of London attacker Khurram Butt says it was Jibril's videos that helped radicalize him. The preacher himself is a free man living in Michigan. Well, we've been trying to speak with Ahmed Musa Jibril about his preaching, but for now at least, he's a pretty hard man to track down. His neighbors, though, have told us they thought he was nice and friendly and said they had no idea he'd produce such videos. But the FBI did know. It tried for years to put away Jibril, but laws on freedom of speech prevented that. He's very smart, you know, as, as many of these folks are. They, they know there's a line that they can go up to and not to cross that line. But talking generally about killing people, making Jews orphans, that's not enough? It, unfortunately, in this country, it's not. Ahmed Musa Jibreel has been a nuisance to Muslims in this area too. He will come and say things to imams sometimes that, you know, you are, you know, out uh, separated from your religion, this is not the way that you are just bluffing. Even imams in the area say they've called for action against him. Freedom of speech stop as a speech, but when you have someone act upon that, this is crossing the line. That should not be. Do you think there are others, even in this community, who yes. are coming close to that line? There's many of them, many of them. You watch the Internet is full of them. But jailing people who aren't quite caught crossing from spreading hate to actively supporting militants isn't just a problem for this community and not just an issue for the U.S. And I can remember post 9-11 here in the United States and the, you know, our frustration with the, with the, with the intelligence community in Britain. Um, you know, the, the imam at the Finsbury Mosque we felt was, was espousing uh, radical extremism and it's frustrating. Hey! He's talking, of course, of Abu Hamza, the British preacher who, after many years, was eventually extradited to America, where he's now in prison for life. That we live on it, that we die on it, and that we be resurrected on it. But others have learned from what happened to him in knowing how far they can go, preaching hate, even inspiring others to commit violent acts without themselves ever facing responsibility. Ali Makbul, BBC News in Dearborn, Michigan.